Good afternoon, or perhaps a good morning to you. My name is Mark, and I would like to welcome you to this webinar, which is related to fully automated retorting lines. If you have any questions during this webinar, please make use of the chat function. So, welcome Pierrick. Pierrick is from our good partner, Steriflow, and he's going to present us something about their expertise and their knowledge. So Pierrick, welcome, and please go ahead. Okay, we wanted to present uh, our, um, our interactions that we have with LAN, uh, which is linked to the, to the fully automated lines and more specifically to the, to the shuttles that load and unload the, the baskets inside the retort. Mm -hmm. But uh, before starting, I just wanted to make a focus on Stairflow, who uh, we are, and uh, specifically to, to talk about uh, our latest innovation. So who are we? Well, we are an autoclave manufacturer. We are known for delivering high quality and very reliable autoclaves from diameter 900 millimeters up to, to 2300 millimeters, depending on the project of the, of the customer. And then we can add agitations inside the, the autoclave, depending on the product. The static one is the most basic autoclave for most common products. But then if, for example, you, you, you produce, uh, or customers produce dairy product, mm -hmm. they will need an agitation. And why, why is that? Why would they need agitation? The origin, the, the this agitation, the DALI, uh, was uh, for uh, for dairy products because during when you hit a product, a dairy product, you can see appearing uh, the Maillard effect, which uh -huh. is a browning effect of the of the milk, for example. This is a problem for the quality of the product uh, from a tasting point of view, but also from a visual point of view because it's bro the, the 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 product gets brown. So creating a sm slow agitation, you make the product moving, and uh, this avoid this specific effect. Okay. Then, if you are producing baby food, for example, soups, pasta sauces, typically for in glass jars, but it can be any any kind of package. We advise adding the rotation. It's always the same autoclaves. It's just the system that changes. And then the shaka, uh, which is our more evolved uh, autoclave, it's uh, it's a longitudinal agitation, but uh, very violent, up to 150 strokes per minute. And why would you need that? to divide the cycle time per five. Oh. So this shorten the cycle, uh, which drives to a higher quality of the product. Because heat treatment is aggressive for a product. So if you shorten the cycle, uh, you gain uh, quality on your product. So currently, w we have more than 4,500 autoclaves installed uh, all around the world in 150 countries. We, we are exactly like land oriented to, to, the, to the world, to the exportations. Uh, 110 people are working with us right now. On average, we're doing 25 million euros annual turnover, from which 5% are invested in an R&D. Also important. Also important. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, in the past years, we've been we've been investing in all the uh, the smart industry or industry 4.0, depending on the country where the customers are, to modernize the autoclave. So we have four axes on this. The first one is to improve the maintenance, to anticipate it. Uh, usually, when we sold an autoclave, we provide uh, we provide a manual, a maintenance manual. What is said, the door gasket, you have to change it every. X hours of production. Um, the pump must be uh, must be revised every X hours of production. So now uh, we we base this uh, on the real production hours, basically by counting the time the pump is turning. So the maintenance is proposed at the right time. And you you get a pre warning that you have to do the maintenance, yes, otherwise you have a risk. Yes, there's a message. Yeah. There's a message on the PLC, the MPI expert, the commercial name of our of our PLC, that says door gasket maintenance needed. Okay, interesting. Um, we also added the, the, m the training videos directly on the, on the MPI expert. Um, the objective is to give the customers more independence, mm -hmm. that they, uh, they don't have to wait for feedback or whatsoever, so they can do the work by themselves. We propose installing smart sensors, for example, in the, uh, in the valves. The, um, here the objective is to check if the valve is working properly. Mm -hmm. um, usually uh, when the, um, the, the communication is in only in one direction, from the PLC to the valve, the PLC says to the valve to get open or to get closed. Mm -hmm. in is, is this a standard package or is it something you can configure and, and invest in as an option? It's an option. This okay. is an option. This is not included in the, uh, in the, in the autoclave initially. I understand. So in this case, the, the valve uh, sends a signal to the PLC to, 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 to confirm the valve is open 
or not. Mm -hmm. And if the valve is not opened properly, this means there's a risk because, for example, for the steam, uh, the steam flow won't be enough and that can create a risk on the sterilization process of the product. So there's an alarm and uh, the cycle can get launched. Mm -hmm. I understand. Traceability is also one strong point, one critical point actually for the sterilization of the products. We hear every week around the world a batch of products have been recalled from a supermarket sure. and so on. Yeah. And when it's sterilization products, uh, this is usually done to, to, to a lack of uh, correctly sterilized or pasteurized product. Yeah. So the objective is to avoid this kind of problem, which is very costly to... Uh, yeah, and perhaps even dangerous, yeah, you know? even dangerous, you know? Even dangerous to the customer. So first is to, to, to select automatically the cycles. Um, you, you a mistake that can be done is to apply the, a cycle to the wrong product. Mm -hmm. or m more in the other way, <laughs> the, the wrong cycle to the product. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, I understand. So here the objective is to avoid this. When the product arrives before uh, getting into the autoclave, the operator with a barcode reader or QR code reader beeps the product and then the cycle gets selected automatically. So no mistake possible here. Okay, uh, this is by an operator, but perhaps you could also have automatic barcode or RFID readers. It is a good question. Uh, RFID we're, we're investigating because that would be the best solution, but we have here a limit is that uh, RFID cannot resist to 121 degrees uh, process. It gets it can get destroyed or at least altered. So this is not uh, this is still not possible. But uh, okay. this is the the best option that we are looking for. Ambition. This is ambition, correct. The checking of the baskets. Um, you find a basket, but this is more for for manual lines. Uh, um, you find a basket in the middle of your workshop. Uh, what's what's the, what's the what's situation? this? So we know the product, but uh, it, it has been sterilized or not. We don't know. So you bib this, and then you have the information, yes or no, and if it's the correct cycle or not. Yeah, yeah. We can include all the information about the, about the, the batch uh, on, the, on the product data report, that it's automatically generated by the, by the MPI expert. And then uh, the, the identification of the operators or, uh, or for the maintenance or even for the administration, uh, administration mode. So you mentioned this a few times now, the MPI expert. I yeah. It's, it's a, a data collection program? It's a, it's a database? It's all actually, it's our it's all PLC. I told you oh before. Oh, it is in it the PLC? Yes, yes, yes you it's mentioned. A, it's the yeah. commercial name of, the, of, the, of, our, of our controller, the ah, of okay. our PLC. So it's, um, it's a custom-made uh, PLC. We mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a touch screen with a software uh, designed uh, specifically for the, for the stair flow process. Mm -hmm. Fully configurable, and uh, all these options are linked to this. Wow, great! Totally integrated. Totally integrated. Yes. Yeah. So the last point was the, the the identification of the operators to avoid any mistake, any 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 security breach. Uh, uh, for example, someone that uh, gets connected with the administrator mode and he doesn't have the right to. It's pretty easy to to catch the user ID and mm -hmm. the and the password. So this is not possible anymore, because every operator, every every administrator has a specific badge, and he he yeah. on the yeah. on the on the screen, and he gets with the correct level of authorization. Uh, uh, clear. Here the objective was um, first to 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 improve the energy uh, the energy consumption, so you can monitor in real time how many steam you are consuming, how many water you are consuming, how mm -hmm. many compressed air you mm -hmm. are consuming uh, directly from the screen. So first you need to know before you can make changes yes. to safe. Yes. That's basically the mm -hmm. idea. Yes, and uh, it's very comfortable for a customer not to wait at the end of the month to, s to, to, to know how, how many how much steam did we consume? Now you can, it's, it's, uh, it's indicated in live, the live mm -hmm. consumption, and then you can do statistics very easily. Mm -hmm. And you know exactly how much steam do you consume per batch, per hour, per, per tone of product, yep. whatsoever. And heat exchanger is a critical part of the, of the autoclave. The objective is to proceed to a leak test before every cycle. So to be sure that the heat exchanger is completely safe, no uh, breakage or, or, or so whatsoever. So uh, every cycle you test? Every cycle we test. Is it a vulnerable part or is it more related to the fact that you don't want to take any risk with the safety? Both, both it's for the cycle efficiency and yes, uh, for a safety purpose. Okay. We're 
we're talking autoclaves about uh, uh, pressure vessels. Mm -hmm. So there, uh, d there, there's always a risk, and the objective is to lower at uh, the minimum. Yeah, clear. Autoclaves are, as I told you, under under, under pressure uh, vessels, but uh, you heat also inside up to 130 degrees, depending on the product. So there's a dilatation during the cycle. The the autoclave moves. Uh, so this was, for example, we I we only fixed the uh, one side of the fit of the autoclave to let the other fit move. Ah, yeah, so yeah. that it can have, yeah, sure. understand. So this create a stress on the um, on the steel, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we can now monitor it to know exactly how much it has been dilated. Mm -hmm. We live in a world where the data, the data management is the the heart of the security yeah. of every company. Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, we, the, the MPI expert, w dur during the past ten years, we always included uh, the the possibility to to proceed to remote uh, remote maintenance on the on the on the autoclave. Mm -hmm. um, but now uh, we've we've been doing this now for for four years. Ubiquity, it's a VPN. We connect to the MPI expert through a secured VPN. And uh, n there is no possible breach uh, for, uh, for to, to us. So this is very secure for our customers. Yeah, yeah because this is uh, d unfortunately the new terrorism of today. Eh? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Sure. yeah. So this is this is our main answer. And then uh, the, the 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 alarms of the autoclave, you can send them to your smartphone, for example, which is very comfortable because when so some product require hours of cycle, um, somehow you you cannot stay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Near the autoclave for hours, so uh, you can you can uh, you can configure your smartphone to get uh, the alarms yeah. live. Um, and then the data action. So we're getting into the into the automatization. Um, uh, so to exchange the signals with other uh, machines into the line or with uh, an ERP, an MES to the upstream, downstream, yes. or Correct. on top. Yeah. So the information can be sent through a Modbus or PC protocols. To the to the IT system. Good to know. And last point, just a small video to to recap uh, everything what I've told. So this is a video that we made uh, in motion design to to recap uh, to recap all our options or all the work we've done on this. So I was telling you to all the the options to anticipate the maintenance, to plan the, the maintenance operation at the right time. Visualization always helps. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Actually, I could have avoided talking to you yeah, in yeah. the 10 no, last I minutes. I appreciate it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and just to show you this video, uh. it's worth 100 of world of videos. So smart sensors, as I told you, on the valves, on the heat exchanger, on the on the feet of the autoclave. Um, the the traceability. Yeah, in this case with manual loading. Yeah. yeah. So the pre-authorizations of uh, of launching a cycle or not, as I told you before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, here's the traceability actually with a, in this case a QR code. So you scan it and then it gets the correct cycle gets yeah. launched. The check after uh, after the cycle. It's everything what I told before is summed up in this video. Yeah. Very nice. Is this video available on your website? Uh, still not. Still not. Still not. But uh, it should be. It will be in the okay. near future the secure identification, the production cost. Conception is also a, a, a strong point. It's a one strong point of, uh, uh, of the stair flow, uh, usually very low conceptions compared to other type of processes. Mm -hmm. um, and with, the, with these options, uh, with the, the, the possibility to see live the conceptions, where, where uh, the objective also is to prove it. Ah. No, this makes it even more clear. Yep. Yeah. And then the cyber security and the communication. Ubiquity, which is a commercial name of the VPN. It's the same thing, technically, uh, there's no... Yes, yeah. yes, correct. The smartphone is always via, via a secure cloud. So all these options are, our customers can pick whatever option they need.
There okay. It's not a package that you have to take. Uh, so it's not one thing. Yeah. And no. Take all. You can make a choice. Y they can make the choice. It's a menu. Excellent. So for Stairfield part, that's all, and uh, we are also here to 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 talk about the the land and Stairfield partnership. Yeah, our um, interface. Yes, our interface that we've been uh, during uh, we've been having during the the 25 past years. You surely know that uh, Stairfield has been lands representative in France in the in the 90s. I was not there in the 90s, uh, but I know. Neither did I. No, but <laughs> I was at school. I know, yeah. <laughs> so since then, uh, we've been working in many lines. We have m more than 20 common lines around the world here in the Netherlands, but also in Australia, Germany, in the UK, France, Hungary, and I hope many other countries. Now, uh, thanks to all the projects we've been uh, we've been working on, we have a very efficient of uh, uh, way of working between uh, or both project teams, even sales team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. The common knowledge, you, you, you guys know exactly what we need. We know what you need for the dimensional constraints, the technical constraints, and the communication protocol between all our, our both yeah. our machines. It helps on, on multi-level uh, understanding between it does. the team. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It does because we, we s somehow we, we, we work with other companies, with new companies uh, that we never work with, and you have to, to start from scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this can be very painful. <laughs> Even if we weren't there 25 years ago. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the main interface between uh, Stairflow and LAN is the shuttle. Sure. Uh, that loads the basket into the autoclave and then unloads them. So there are different types of shuttle. The first one is with, uh, with the dock chain, come mm -hmm. here, with a coder to synchronize both dock chains inside the autoclave and on the shuttle. But this is the most binding. It is very heavy work for us. We have mechanical parts inside the autoclave, uh, so which can create m maintenance constraints. And then we have to, to, to work on this coder to, to synchronize both uh, dog chains. And this is, uh, this is a lot of work uh, from outside and from the side of the, of the, of the shuttle manufacturer yeah. also. Yeah. So it works well, but for us it's the most binding. So yeah, we yeah. try in any case to avoid this kind of option. Yeah, for us as yeah. well. I mean, obviously we still do it a lot for, for whatever reason, but uh, yeah, we always prefer some of the other options uh, that I'm sure you're going to prefer. Yeah, yes, now. I will show yeah. you. And, uh, and uh, we don't do this option, for example, for rotary autoclips. No, I understand. Yeah. So the second option will be the beam shuttle. So this is, for example, inside of the autoclave, a static autoclave equipped for uh, a beam shuttle. So we can see that we have a beam guide and uh, rollers to push and, uh, and pull the, the baskets. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the concept of a beam shuttle is pretty simple. It's just that there's a beam <laughs> name that, uh, that will push all the baskets, the, uh, the fives, in, fives in a row, and then to pull them to pull to it get back. Uh, yeah, that's how we uh, call it as well. The push pull. Beam. Yes. Yeah. It's a uh, it's a pretty simple. Uh, but the point is that um, we have one constraint is to to add the rollers and that uh, that adds uh, a maintenance. But we can see the constraint really is for the rotary autoclave because that make heavier the drum. I yeah, understand, uh, because the rollers are also part of the, uh, uh, d yeah. how do you say, the dynamic part. Yes, 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 that makes the whole structure heavier. We're talking about usually, uh, for example, for diameter uh, 1800 uh, the millimeters, big ones. the big ones, every basket can, uh, can have a weight up to, up to 600, 700 kilos. Yeah. So then if you add all these uh, stuffs, it makes it even more heavier the yeah. uh, the drum yeah, four or five baskets of 700 kilos yes then uh, it's a it's a huge uh, it's a huge uh, constraint but then we have your solution the tongue shuttle yeah here the main advantage is the is the mechanical simplicity we don't need dock change nor color coder nor roller nor beam guide to us it's the it's the perfect solution for the for the rotary rotors yeah that no basket movement and the drum is is less heavy yeah uh. That's a, a, a common line. This is a, a line, uh, line shuttle with uh, Stairflow autoclaves. Yeah, so two different installations in different customers in different countries. But we can uh, we can see the inside of the autoclave for yeah. a good for a tongue shuttle. There's it's very only simple. There's only beams. There's nothing moving. Nothing. There's nothing. It's pure. And to us, it's uh, less, uh, less things to, uh, to put inside the autoclaves, which creates less maintenance for the customers. Yeah, and it helps your uh, relation, uh, how you say, uh, reputation for reliability as well, I <laughs> suppose. <laughs> <laughs> and for rotary retorts, um, same, um, same, com same. Uh, yeah, I recognize a few of the pictures we have done. Yes, so I many guess so. We have you can't so tell where they are, but uh, the beautiful installations, very simple. Yeah, so we bring it in with the tongue and then we 
go gradually downwards so that we gently put the baskets or the tray uh, on your supports yes and then we move out and by unloading it's the other way around we go up that's take yeah. out correct that's, yeah. that's all that's all that's simple yeah and that's it thank you very much mark for yeah thank you Pierre. Uh, it was a very interesting uh, presentation so if you have any questions uh, related to this topic, you could always contact us at info at or contact at sterfield.com. Thank you very much for your attention.